Happy Saturday. Fall is in the air, y'all, and it is crisp and chilly where I'm at. So tonight, we are gonna be making pumpkin turkey chili and cornbread casserole. That's right, Poppy, he's excited. I am excited too. We're gonna to be pairing that lovely dinner with One Hope's Petite Syrah. Stay tuned, it's gonna be D to the Lish. Hey guys, for our drink in the kitchen tonight, I thought what a perfect idea to make a frozen margarita to go with our chili and our cornbread casserole tonight. <clears throat> so excited. This is one of my favorite drinks that I make. This is like my specialty margarita. Everyone knows Ange loves to make the frozen peach marg. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. Yes, this is my magic bullet that I use to make frozen margs and my protein shakes in the morning. Dual purpose. So we're gonna take some silver tequila and I'm going to give this fella you could do two shots. Um, I'll do two shots. Yes. Why not? Why not? We earned those shots today, didn't we, babe? We did. We did. All right, so now that I have my silver tequila in, and you can use any silver tequila, um, but I always like to say when you make a margarita, you don't have to use the top shelf tequilas when you make margs. You can, but I would save your top shelf for the nice sipping um, tequilas. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Master of Mixes white peach margarita mix. I already started with a little bit of ice, so I'm just gonna fill this up to about right there with my mix. And then, here's the trick, guys. Get yourself some frozen peaches. Now you can do fresh peaches in the um, when it's peach season, but it's so great to always have a bag of like frozen strawberries if you wanna do strawberry mark, frozen peaches for peach marks. You just throw these frozen fellas right in here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good with our chili. Mm. Okay, then I'm gonna put the lid on. We're gonna get this. All right, now. Damn it! <laughs> no, I got it, I got it. I'm gonna, here, oh. Oh, it's just because my hands are wet, that's all. <laughs> It's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Look at these awesome margarita glasses that I brought home from Mexico a couple years ago. Aren't these fun? Love them. All right, so we're gonna fill up a margarita glass. I always like to fill them right to the top. Give this one a little bit. And then garnish with a lime. You all know me in garnishes. Ah! A perfect peach margarita to kick off our chili episode. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ah, peachy and icy, juicy. I love a good margarita. All right, guys. So we're getting prepped to make our chili. Now, this is a great chili because it's, it's good for you. It's using turkey burger. And the secret ingredient is pumpkin. So pumpkin puree goes into this chili and it makes it such a rich, delicious chili. I have not made chili any other way in like two years. This is the only chili I ever make and Carl loves it. Don't you big funky? Yes, I do. He does. So I'm gonna show you guys my little contraption here. I just picked it up the other day. I had one once before, but it busted, so I needed a new one. The Vidalia Chop Wizard. This guy really does a great job with chopping your vegetables. You just take it like this, put, put a couple runs through it, take this whole hunk, put it on here. This is so fast, you guys. Okay. Well. Done! <laughs> Quick, efficient. The chop wizard can chop my onion any day of the week. I'm going with the larger fellas for my peppers because I want the peppers to be bigger. 
I'm using a red pepper and a yellow pepper in the chili. How amazing is this chopper? You can get it at your local Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> Look at how amazing those peppers and onions are. The chopping is done. Let's get this chili started, you guys. Mm. It's a perfect drink in the kitchen, y'all. All right, I have my onion and my two peppers. I've got oil already heated in my Dutch oven here. I'm just gonna put these guys in to hang out for a minute, saute up. Mm. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. This is the first time I've ever made this chili in the Dutch oven because normally I get everything together and then I just throw it in the crock pot and I let it just simmer all day. So this is the first time that I'm actually making the chili like this. And it's going to be delish. I don't know why I'm still holding this. Let me, let me put that down. Okay. All right. Now. I'm gonna saute these peppers and onions for just a little bit, let them sweat out a little bit, and then I'm gonna add in a clove of garlic. And uh, then after that, I'm going to add in our one pound of turkey burger. Get that browned up, and then we'll add in our spices and our extra things. So I have um, a one and a half tablespoons of chili powder and a half a tablespoon of cumin. And I add that in as my spices, and I'll do a pinch of salt and pepper also. I love the addition of the corn and the black beans in this chili also. I love a good, hearty, chunky chili. Those are my favorites. And then with a lot of toppings, like I love um, red onion and I love jalapeno and sour cream and cheddar cheese. Give me all the toppings, I love it. Tonight I even have an avocado we're gonna slice and put on top of our chili. Mm. Chili is a great dish for any time of the year. I'll eat chili anytime, but it really does. There's something about having a nice, warm, spicy bowl of chili in the fall when it's super cold outside and you just want to snuggle up. Chili is the perfect dish for that. All right. Our peppers and onions have sweat out really nice. I'm going to add in this um, clove of minced garlic. My friend Wendy got this um, hot pad for me or oven mitt. My favorite salad is wine. <laughs> is that not true? I don't know what it is. That's, that's definitely a true statement for me. All right, guys, the turkey burger is nice and browned up. I'm going to add in my spices now, get all those stirred in. So we're going to add in our two cups of pumpkin, stir that in. And then we'll add in our can of black beans. We'll add in our can of corn. We'll add in two cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies. I did not, I do not drain these. I keep the juices and I use, use that as part of the broth. And then I'm just going to stir all this up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys should see this. It looks amazing already. Just amazing. Now while this simmers on the stove, we are gonna whip together our cornbread casserole. Stay tuned. Okay guys, watch how easy this is for me to whip together. I already sprayed my pan. Eight ounces of cornbread Jiffy Mix, a can of cream corn, a can of sweet corn, a cup of sour cream, and the melted butter that I forgot in the microwave. <laughs> I got it, I got the butter. Butter. Here it is. Half a cup of butter melted. That's one stick, y'all. It's a lot of butter. Paula Dean would be so proud. All right, so one cup of sour cream, half a cup of butter, one stick, 
can of sweet corn, can of cream corn, and one eight ounce box of Jiffy cornbread mix. We're just gonna mix all this together and we're going to pour this in that casserole, the little um, eight by eight casserole pan. All right, got it. Let me get it in the pan here. We'll get this guy in the oven. In we go. All right guys, my favorite time of the night, time to taste the wine. Normally when I eat chili, I like a margarita or I like a nice cold beer and it's very, it's not, let me back up. Beep, beep, beep. It's not normal for me to go toward a glass of wine when I have chili. So this is a very new experience for me tonight. So I picked the One Hope Reserve Petite Syrah from Napa Valley and the flavor profile on this wine is blueberry, cloves, black pepper, and tobacco leaf. It's just a nice big wine that's gonna stand up to that spicy chili. I can't wait to taste it. This bottle actually helps fund the prevention of prostate cancer. I love that about One Hope and I love their wine. So let's get to tasting. Now I've had this bottle open for a while and I've actually had the wine poured in the glasses for quite a while as well because I wanted it to open up. This is a four-year-old wine and a lot of times the bigger wines tend to need some time to open up. Hmm. It has a really interesting nose. Complex. Mmm. Yeah. That's delicious. That's going to go really well with our chili tonight. I like it. Mmm. This wine's going to stand up to the chili just fantastic. Cheers, everyone. Hey, guys. It's time to taste our delicious pumpkin turkey chili and our corn casserole. Put a little avocado in this chili too and some diced jalapeno and red onion with some cheese on top. Ooh, that's hot. Mmm, mmm. What a perfect chili. Mm. The spiciness pairs so well with the richness of that pumpkin. It is perfect. Let's get into this corn casserole. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's delicious. Mm hot out of the oven and a perfect side with this delicious chili and a perfect pairing with this beautiful One Hope Petite Syrah. Another episode of Saturday Dinners. It's a wrap. Cheers, everyone. It's caught in the necklace. Hmm. Oh, oh shit, oh, it's the salt. It's the salt and pepper. Okay, okay, now I gotta hide this guy. Get back there now. No one needs to see you. Record it up. Oh, whew. I can't get too happy with my arms since this wine's already open. Can you imagine that? Happy Saturday. <laughs> Happy Saturday. For episode six, it is fall right now. I didn't like that. No, 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 I'm gonna start over. Hmm. A perfect blended peach martini to kick off our chili episode. Cheers, everyone. Okay, say that again, except say a perfect chili or a perfect uh, blended peach margarita. Did I say martini? Yeah. <laughs> 
because I'm not used to making a margarita. <laughs> ah, okay, all right, let me back up. Beep, beep, beep. Chili is really a great dish for oh, hair. Oh, <laughs> Okay, um, as I was saying, getting all this browned up. Oh, my arm hurts. A bra strap fell oh, oh. <laughs> Holy Moses! I can see in the window, so I like to fix my hair. 